all right so this time actually we are going to work with this app bar first and how to do that now for app bar itself we will create a folder over here uh, well it, it's not just for app bar actually here I'm going to create a directory I'm gonna call it widgets all right and then over here I'm going to create a file and I'm gonna call it uh, sign in widgets dot dart over here everything would be for sign in class and relate to that now here we are going to have a bar and then we'll call it uh, build a bar just like this and we have to return an app bar otherwise we'll get error now let's go ahead and uh, import metro library okay great now first thing we could do over here is uh, hold this one build a bar right now once again you can save it it would work the same if you go there yeah it's still there right not much changes now here though because we we want an app bar app bar is not like traditional widget so that's why here instead of returning widget you return app bar in general previously you have seen that we just return widget for any of them but uh, with sign in widgets and i mean the app bar itself you can't do that all right so here um what is the result we want to achieve so something like this okay so this would be our sign in page so this is something that we want to achieve all right so the first thing is login and at the top there is a bit of distance now of course the distance is also coming from safe area if you remember uh, we already are inside safe area right so over here uh, well since we are inside app bar here we could do title now for title itself we can just simply use uh, our text 16 I think this one test 16 and here we can say login login well, I think login should be one word actually and it should be as text now let's come over here and uh, save it okay we do see that login is there all right so now let's uh, come over here and here we do see that our color is different and uh, well font to it we are okay with that so now instead this we can pass a new color because the default color we don't want so here we can use something called a pri mori uh, well it should be actually from app colors dot primary text primary text this one so let's go ahead and save it all right so the color changed a little bit and it's good so this is the first thing we want and actually there should be other changes as well which we would see uh, looks like the app has crashed over here let me see whether I can restart it or not okay hopefully this one all right okay cool now if you notice carefully that there is also a thin line over here actually thin line so we are going to uh, use this we are going to have this thin line now how to do that well there could be many different ways we could do it someone can come over here and create a line inside this body as well but we don't want to do that we want to do something different so here we want to say bottom app bar bottom actually bottom property inside this and it has a widget that you can it takes and we can use that one that's called 
preferred size. Now with preferred size, inside add you can pass a child. It could be any container. And after that, actually you can set up a size there. So here you could do size. Here you say from height. Okay. And then here you see, okay, first put 10 over there. And let's see how it goes. You see, we do see we already have a line over here. If you see it carefully, there is a line, there is a thin line that we see and it's already there. It's already visible there. Okay. All right. And yes, we also see that. Um, but now the problem is this color itself. Okay. If you have one and of course uh, now here, if you see at the same time, well, first two, two things we see, well, the first, it has a background color, right? And this is something not we want, and we'll fix that later. And at the same time, even if we applied 100, sorry, one, it doesn't seems like, it seems like it doesn't have any impact. Okay, let's take this out and let's save it. Okay, so now here we still see this app bar. Now, Ebber is holding its own color, so that's the problem. But we'll take care of that later. Now, if you put it back, looks like the same thing. Now, how about I put, since it takes a size, how about I put a size there of 100, and let's take a look. And here you see that it took 100 from there. It's almost like 100. So what it does actually, Ebber, from the name itself, you can see the bottom property creates a bottom section below this Ebber. So that's the idea. And of course, the bottom takes preferred widget. I mean, over here, if you hover over on this bottom, it says the preferred size widget like that, okay? And this widget appears across the bottom of the Ebber. Okay, so it, it appears at the bottom of the app bar. So this is where you can use it for if you want to have some extra spacing right below your app bar. Okay, and now let's come over here and let's try to do something different. Here I'm going to use color and say colors.red. And let's save it. Okay, well, it looks like no change. Now over here, give it a height, say 10. Now let's save it. Okay, right. So now there is a new understanding of this, that how this thing works. The first one. Well, this one is going to create a distance from a bar. And if it creates a distance, what do you want to do? After this distance, you can put anything. I put a child over here. Child is a container with a color. Of course, if you take it out and now let's save it. Uh, it is not going to work. It looks like it needs a child. So you have to have a child over here. Even if it's an empty child, nothing is there. Okay. All right. So, and inside this, you can also put a text over here or another child text. Hello. Let's save it and you see that. So, what's happening over here is that the idea is if you want to have something right below Ebber and also want to uh, control the distance that how much it should go down from the Ebber. And after that certain distance and from the bottom itself, if you want to show something like, let's come over here, what I'm trying to say. Uh, here I'm going to apply style and uh, here we do text style. And then font size, we're going to use this one, say 30 or say, let's say 50. 
you're gonna make it better okay now the height itself is causing the problem so give it a better height okay now it makes more sense so now do you understand that what's happening over here so this is our app bar right after app bar we created some space and we are saying okay the size of this space is 100 okay so this is the size and after that all we want from the bottom itself we want to put something from the bottom to the upward occupy this space okay of course let's go ahead and do 80 and we'll see how it goes yeah so it looks like my whole text appears so you can put a child and the child will take space from here not below there from here from this bottom line to upward so that's how it works now why we are doing these things that's because all we want right after this here we want a line but of course if it's just a line like this it doesn't make a lot of sense what this thing and how it works so it's like you are using like cannons to kill mosquitoes it does look like but in the long run if you understand this one then it's it'll uh, pay off okay so that's how this app bar works with preferred size hopefully it makes sense all right so now here i i don't want anything all i want is a child and at the same time the child itself we want to have just a height height of one and we're gonna save it and that's it but at the same time we don't want like this okay and then save it there we also don't want like this we just want it here right below it okay all right so yes so that's pretty much all about our app bar and it looks like it needs const modifier okay right 